everyone, welcome to the weekly update here at Fishy Business. One of the things that has happened in the last couple of days is we have gotten a plethora of new rocks. Uh, we've got every different type of rock, rocks that we haven't had in a very long time, and it is overfilling the rock room. So we're gonna run some specials coming up, I think this weekend, on some rocks. So you definitely wanna check that out when you come in. One more thing I wanna show you real quick. Aquarium kits back in stock. So beginner into aquariums from anything from about a 20 gallon right on up to the 55, we have in some specially priced kits. It's not too early to start thinking about Christmas and holidays and things like that that are coming up. Pretty soon people are gonna be giving people Halloween gifts for Halloween, it's probably gonna happen. So you can be ahead of it with a fish tank for Halloween and or Christmas. So you definitely want to check those out when you come in. Now let's get on to the update. Hey, it's Kevin. We have an awesome selection of freshwater fish this week. I'm going to show you some of my favorite ones out of all the ones we have, although I love them all. Here we go. We have a great selection of colors in the dwarf grommies. Now, several of my clients have been coming in wanting female dwarf grommies and actually in the trade there are no female dwarf grommies to be had generally in the prehistoric 80s when i started doing this we you could only buy them in male female pairs the females are very drab and gray so they're not very popular so the way that this industry has gone people want instant gratification and beautiful colors so they want the males so all the ones that you see with the bright pretty colors are always going to be males bizarre looking creatures are Farlawella cats. They are a type of algae eater. Pretty good scavenger. They're also called a twig catfish. As you can see they look a lot like a twig mixed with a sturgeon. They generally get no more than about eight inches. Really good for a community tank for a really unusual algae eater. Striking in color we've got some really nice looking platinum green tiger barbs. The platinum green are a slightly different color from your standard green tiger barbs. There's also some nice looking albino tiger barbs in there as well. They look really great together. Personally, I would recommend doing at least three to five of each color if you're doing them in a school though, to make sure they show properly. If you're looking for fancy goldfish, I've got some really cute calico telescopes in stock in a wide range of colors. I love calicos because they all look different from each other. Notice some of them have the real black eyes, it's black pigmentation, and that's very common in the calico varieties. <laughs>saltwater portion of the weekly update this week my friend is going to be this panther grouper this decent sized panther grouper for what i normally get in panther groupers get like three four or five feet they get humongous full grown um but they usually stay on the smaller side for them in an aquarium probably maxing i would say like a foot to two feet they get very 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 big basically in the wild. Now how long they stay alive depends on how long or how big they get it depends on how long you keep them alive. 
These guys are a grouper, so they are gonna eat anything that fits in their mouth. So just keep that in mind. So I got in this very big Scopus Tang. This was a trade in, which is why he has a little messed up upper fin, but that is not going to get in the way of li him living his greatest life. Um, he is on the larger side, so it'd be good for if you have a larger aquarium. So this guy is super awesome. Here I have a Tamini Tang and a six line wrasse. These guys, the six line wrasse will eat smaller microorganisms like flatworms and stuff like that. So they're really beneficial to keep your miniature microorganisms that are potentially pests in check. So these guys are super cute and adorable. And the Tamini is just a awesome uh, bristle tooth tang. They get, they stay relatively small compared to the rest of your tangs. So they only get like four to six inches. So those guys are really awesome if you are on the smaller side of an aquarium. A more medium sized Fiji fox face this week. Um, the Fijis I noticed tend to be a little bit nippier um, towards other fish. So these guys do have a little bit more aggression than your normal like one spot fox faces and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind if we ever decide to take him home. But he is super cool with that stark yellow and black difference. One last thing I'd like to mention, and only because it's been so prevalent today as we've had four customers come in here and tell us the same thing. Water clarity, no matter how clean your tank looks, has nothing to do with water quality. You need a test kit. If you have not bought a test kit and you're not testing it yourself, you're doing a disservice to yourself because it's the only way you're going to be able to keep up with what's going on in your aquarium. The only way to know what's happening in that environment is having a way to test that water. And relying on us is fine, but it's not going to do you any good if we're not open and you're having an issue with your aquarium. So definitely get the test kits you need. You don't have to buy every test kit that's on the market and you don't have to buy every one that we have. But depending on what kind of fish you're keeping, you should have one. Anyway, God bless. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here next week.